Welcome back. Let's say that you do not remember the root password of your system, but you have physical access or console access to your server. You may be able to reset the root password using a rescue kernel. I am using a KVM virtual machine for this demonstration. The process will be similar for cloud virtual machines and bare metal physical servers. While the server is rebooting, I am going to pause the process at the grub menu by using the down arrow key on my keyboard and then select the rescue kernel. While the rescue kernel is highlighted, I won't hit the enter key yet because I want to customize some parameters. So with the rescue kernel selected, I will hit E on the keyboard. Remember, no enter. Let's move to the line that begins with Linux and do a couple of changes. Remember, once you are at the Linux line, you can use the right arrow key on the keyboard to navigate. Let's change the RO to RW or read write. Let's then go to the end of the very same line and add rd.break. All four rows here are parts of the same line that begins with Linux, but the line is being broken to accommodate the display. So we have the backslashes at the end. Let's press Ctrl X now to boot the system. Okay, we are in the emergency mode now. Let us now ch root to slash sys root. That will give us the environment of the original system for which we are trying to change the password. Now, if we did not change the rescue kernel parameter to rw earlier, we would have to remount sysroot as rw. If we do a cat on etc pass wd now, it will show us the contents of the file on the original system. While we are here, notice that most users have a login shell of sbin no login. That is because these users do not have shell access. These are mostly system users like FTP, for example, and hence shell access is not needed for these users. The FTP user, for example, may run the FTP service. Let's now change the password using the passwd command. We do not need to put passwd root because we are already in the root environment of the original system. Okay, now our root password has been updated. We need to create an empty file called .autorelabel under slash so that SE Linux contexts are relabeled. Then we can do a control D to exit the environment and finally reboot the system. The system will reboot a couple of times while the SE Linux contexts get relabeled. Okay, we are back at the login screen. Let's select not listed and then type root as the username and the password we just set. Congratulations, we have now reset the root password. I want to take the time to remind that if you use a similar Linux distribution on a portable device like a laptop, it is generally a good practice to encrypt the drives so that an adversary cannot access your confidential data. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to get notified of more videos like this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one.